Hello guys, welcome back to another different tier two video. My name is Jimmy Shreds, and today I'm doing the guide for the whole lunar event. What items to craft, how to do lunar event uh, missions, and purple zones. I'm gonna leave down in the description my socials, my Twitch, where I see different tier two and some other games, timestamps as well. Let's get it. So first of all, I wanna cover the items, what should we craft, and what we have to craft. So we're gonna go ahead to the workbench. Here we are. So this is what currently we have. You have Dragon Onslaught, which is, which is a new rifle that's using nine mil, uh, nine mil, nine mil. Oh my God, Jesus! Okay, nine mil rifle rounds. Anyways, okay. <clears throat> so um, as you can see, these are the stats: uh, forty nine headshot, forty nine weapon body, and so on. Those are the minimum stats you can get on the weapon, right? The thing is, it costs four hundred red envelopes. It's a really good rifle, even if you're a new player, even if you're all an uh, old player veteran, you know, you have items. I advise you to craft this rifle. It's a really good one. I don't know what are the maximum stats currently for this one. I, my guess, my guess would be uh, 54 uh, headshot, 54 body damage, 54 attack speed, 45 mutated, 45 uh, infected, and 27 jog speed. That's my guess that those are the maximum stats. I'm not 100% sure, but that's the guess. For this one, this is the enhanced one, which you first need to craft one, and then you can upgrade it, enhance it for the credits. But you need to have this one first. The maximum stats you can get here, I, I know for a fact this is 100%. 61 headshot, 61 body damage, 61 attack speed, uh, 55 mutated, 55 infected, and 31 jog speed. Uh, if you have credits and if you're planning to use this rifle uh, as on your main character and you main rifles, right, and you're planning to min max, and this is supposed to be like your end game build, I advise you to go for the enhanced dragon. If you are not gonna main rifles and you're not gonna min max, you really do not need to go for that this one is just gonna be more than enough you don't need to enhance it because with this like in general like with let's say you don't even need to have like with the builds that are like 70 percent 80 percent power you can do everything in the game anyways pretty much so you don't have to worry about it uh, we also have elite enhancers that you can uh, get for if you have 10 rare enhancers and uh, 60 red envelopes you combine those and you can craft one elite enhancer level 50. then we have silver neon mask i'm not sure what are the maximum stats so i don't wanna like give you the wrong uh, the wrong uh, information but this is my speculation okay mutated is 50 uh 55 attack speed uh 50 hp uh, 54 or, or 55 find the weapon chance, uh, 55 body damage, and 55 headshot. I could be wrong on that, not 100% sure. I still need to do some, uh, you know, I, I still need to, to get some information. I still need to look more for that. Now, when it comes to the new players, these are the items that we have. I would not advise you to go for the SMG, because uh, if you're playing SMG as a new player and you're just starting out, SMGs are very, very hard to maintain. It's like they're very, very costly. It's very hard to maintain them. So I advise you to not go for this SMG. You either want to pick between the shotgun or rifle if you're a new player. Like if you need something like so you can level faster, get to low 50 ASAP. I'd either go for these two because SMG is just, it's, it's really hard to maintain. But these two, you know, they're not going to, they should not be that big of an issue to maintain. They're, they're still, you know, because uh, some ammo is, uh, this type of ammo is used uh, in higher level zones. Like this one is not that much, but 20 gauge is used on the Sega, uh, which is a level 40 auto shotgun and 5.56 ammo is used on a level 30 and 35, uh, assault, no, 35 and I think 40 assault rifles all the way to, I think, level 40, if I remember right. So, yeah, the, the ammo of 5.56 can be sometimes, you know, because uh, it's a vent. I'm not sure what's the price currently, but anyways, you want to pick one of those two. Now, when it comes to these items here, you you should craft all of these. Like, I think if you're a new player, you, do, you don't have to spend, uh, like, almost any cash. Like, 2,000 to craft the, each of these, you can get 2k very easy. So, these are awesome items for uh, leveling uh, if you're new to the game. Now, if you have time, if you're already level 50, I advise you to try to craft a few of these. Like, I do try to craft three at least. 
so you have it for yourself if you do not have time to craft it you can buy it off the market people are selling those don't know what's the price currently but if it's like 100k to 100k i think that's fair price in my opinion so if you cannot craft this if you do not have time you can buy this uh, and this is a lunar cake that that's holiday high gives you um 10 attack speed and 10 movement speed for 30 minutes that's pretty much what it is i do not advise you to spend your money on these resources because pardon me chocolate bar is quite expensive uh, due to the uh missions and i'll show you why uh, later on so i would not go for this completely up to you if you want so what do you want to mainly focus on as level 50 uh if you do not have enough if you do not have a lot of time craft one of these one is gonna be just fine and if you can if you have some time i will try to multi i'll try to craft multiple of these because you can use if you have example three alts or four or five you can use uh, this helmet on the other characters so you can have five of these which means you know once you finish one character if you want to play another one like example you want a boss hunt or you're doing purple zones you want to go for this mask definitely so try to craft at least you know at least two if you can i believe everybody can do it everybody has time to craft two of these the more you, uh, the better i will try at least five and if you have time the later one focus on that then try to craft more of these but one for the start is gonna be enough just one that and two of these if possible so that's for the items uh, i'm gonna now show you how you can get those red envelopes so all the ways uh, to get them so i'm gonna show you lunar uh, missions and then you can uh, i'll show you how to do it uh, with the purple zones like how they are all right let's get it okay now we are at the place where you can get lunar missions currently it's located two blocks below dalbo uh, it's called the family residence so we have five npcs here we go to the right there is going to be two so this one is always gonna uh, ask you for some kind of like a special food right now today she's asking for like a lunar cake this guy is always gonna ask for some kind of a drink you know today he's asking for soda double door across you have this guy asking for ammo today he's asking for 0.357 magnum rounds we have her she's always gonna ask for some crafting materials hey. and this guy will ask for some meds as you can see they give quite a lot of xp now you can go to your missions and as you can see this guy is asking for four sodas she's asking for one lunar cake this guy is asking for uh, one um, round of 357 magnum rounds uh this one is asking for one swing needles and this one sorry oh my god i'm wrong guys uh this is asking for four sodas two lunar cakes um 2.357 magnum rounds four swing needles and three antiseptic sprays but here is a catch people are matching this so the only thing worth for you to do is like get these uh, magnum rounds here you can do this every day they these missions are gonna reset every day guys uh, I'm not sure what's the price of antiseptic sprays. If the spray is like below 10k, I, you can do it if you want. But if you're fairly new, I do not advise you to go for that. Just magnum rounds, that's it. Everything else is quite expensive. But you can get 75 um, red envelopes by doing this. If you have cash, you can just buy these items and get here, give them these items. You cannot do it at the, at the mission board in the outpost. So you got to bring these items to them. And they reset every uh, day so 75 per character you can if you have multiple characters if you have 10 you can, you can get 750 per day so those are the missions now i'm gonna move on to the purple zones right we are approaching the first purple zone which is kill 20 neon zombies they are like special infected they just have more hp than regular zombies and that's how they look like in mind this is gonna be quite easy for me this is a lower level of purple zone so this is for new players even the high level ones can do this you want as you know 10 envelopes you can do it quite fast so why not all right a few more to go oh, they're not spawning it's very easy guys okay now we're gonna move on to the harder one Hey guys, we're now approaching the harder one. This we ha we have to kill two silver dragons. They are gonna scream. 
And they can be quiet. Oh, then we got the finger head as well spawned. So here they are. You don't want to get too close to them. When they get too close, you can dodge them. If they, you can dodge their scream. And if they go into you, you can do it like that. The range is not as high on the gold dragon, and they're quite squishy, so I'll kill them quite fast because I have a lot of damage. But this is pretty much how you want to do. You want to run around the objects. Use the objects when you fight these. And zombies as well. That's it, moving to the harder one. Okay, guys, we're approaching the hardest one, gold dragon. Uh, I've done the guide. Uh, I'll put it down in the description. There he is. On how to fight these. So when they're going towards you, when they scream, dodge. See that? Keep the distance. Go around the objects. It's harder for them to go there. You see that? He has to go around. Keep repeating the process. If he gets into you, just dodge. Again. Bang. And run to the opposite side of where he is. The direction. I'll kill him quite fast compared to some of you. Do it again. And keep repeating. And there we go. And we have come to an end. I hope this guy was helpful to you guys. If I missed anything, I'll leave it down uh, in the comments. I'll pin it as well. Um, if you have any feedback or any requests for what next video should be, please make sure you comment down below. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. And I'll see you in another video of the Frontier. So till next, next time, guys. Peace.